Hi guys, today I'll be trying to solve fleet code 133, which is clone graph. And uh, this is a DFS problem initially, I thought, but then it's a simpler version also of DFS. So it should not be too hard. So we've been given a node definition here, which consists of two parameters, a value and a list node of neighbors, which are obviously the neighbors of the uh, indirected graph in this case. So if you're given a reference of a node in the connected and directed graph, and we have to return a deep copy of the graph. Each node contains a value int and a list of neighbors that's given to us. Um, we have a test kit format also, but I don't think that's very important. We just need to know what an adjacency list is. It's a list of unordered lists, a collection of unordered lists. You should represent a finite graph and the given node is always the first node with value one. You must return the copy of the given node as far as the reference to the clone graph. Okay. That makes sense. Let's look at the example. Uh, the example uh, it gives us a original graph to us, which has one, two, three, four in yellow boxes. We can't return the same thing because uh, it's the same elements in the same position uh, in memory. So we can't do that. We need to make new copies of one, two, three, and four, and then return them as the blue boxes. The second option, which is given to us. The third option does not work because we have nodes in different positions. So that should not be an ideal solution in our case. So if you look at the input and output again, the adjacency list and the output elements are exactly in the same order and they are presented in the same way also. So um, yeah, that's, and also like we also, uh, we also have the fact that uh, value one neighbors are node two and the fourth value is four, fourth node is four, sorry. Third node is three and fourth node is four again, third node is three again. So we're trying to, at this point, we're trying to think about double pointers uh, because we need to make sure we reach uh, all the nodes to themselves so that we make clones of them and we make references of them also. So what I mean by that is if I, let's say, traverse from one to two, I'm trying to make a clone of this path by traversing that. We also need to make sure we go from two to one, right? Otherwise we lose, lose the reference for one and we can't have any reference for one after that point. Similarly, we do the same thing with two and three, where we take a double pointed uh, directional to make sure we store references and clone the same values. Same thing happens with three and four, and the same thing happens with four and one. So we make sure we complete this directed cyclic uh, graph, which is also done through DFS at this point. So we'll do this and we'll try and see how what we work through in this problem. There are a couple of base cases also where the adjacency list is empty and contains a single element. I think we'll deal with that in our uh, extreme case solution or HK solution in our code. So let's start coding. The first thing which I consider is to make a hash map which might store my old to new nodes. So I have old to set, which is my initial hash map. We define a method inside this method, which we might call, let's say, clone DFS. Takes in a node, which we also have to pass, we have to pass through node every DFS call. So we do that. Now we check if node is in, sorry, if node is in old to new. If that's the case, then we we know we've already have a clone in the in the old to new graph uh an old to new sorry hash map so we return that okay sorry old to old to new and this would be reference of node that's done we know that we have a copy a clone of the same element so we return that if that's not the case, we store the copy by calling the constructor node with node dot the value of the node. And now we assign with the position node with the, which we just made at this point. And at this point, I think we have to traverse the neighbors of the tree as well. So for neighbors in 
neighbors and I think um neighbors we can give it that right self neighbors so we'll use this no dot neighbors once we are traversing we copy the neighbors and that to a function call which is clone dfs So we do that with the neighbor, which we've, we're traversing at this point. And once we're done with that, we turn the copy. And at the end, we also check for a base case as we saw over here. So we return the DFS cloned DFS node. We have a node. No, I think this should work out. We'll check if our solution works out in this case. And uh, okay, we've not defined old to new. So yeah, that should be fine. And yep, if our test cases are running at this point, and if I submit this, I will get that. Yep, it works in 26 milliseconds and occupies around 15 megabytes. So that's good memory also. And that was my implementation. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.